Taurus. Let's do this. This is your general from September 1st through September 15th. Um, what else? Love readings will be out tomorrow or the next day, and they're going to stay weekly. Um, I'm also going to pull Mother Mary Oracle cards during the generals now. Um, however, I don't know that deck by heart. It's pretty new, um, so I am going to have to refer to the book, so you're going to have to just bear with me or just click off when I get to that point. One day I'll know them by heart. Um, that day is not today, so it is what it is. All right, Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, first two weeks of September. So I do meditate on them and shuffle before starting recording. The only shuffling that I do on camera is to get jumpers. Um, I only read jumpers. I'm afraid of influencing the cards, so I don't like to actually pick them myself. I let them come out on their own. All right. Taurus. Shit, guys. All right. <clears throat> so your crowning energy, which is you, it's how you're feeling, what thoughts are going on up in your head, how you're feeling about whatever's going on in your life, right? Crowning energy is you. It's what's going on in your head. You have the Chariot in Reverse. It's a Cancer card, so you could be dealing with a Cancer. If not, it's you not making any forward movement, possibly feeling like you're going backwards or you're just not moving forward, All right? And like I said, this is crowning energy. This is your thoughts and feelings. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's actually what's happening. We'll see. In your past, um, I also wanted to clarify too. So when I do these bi-weeklies, the past is just your recent past. So it would be like the week or two before the reading. So the last two weeks of August, it's not like five, ten years ago type of past. Um, your present obviously is the time of the reading and for the two weeks that it covers. Your future is your immediate future. So like the two weeks following the reading. The last two weeks of September and your outcome is the ultimate outcome if you keep going the way that you're going with these cards now if nothing changes and it keeps going this way this is what the outcome is going to be ultimately um, obviously anything could change things could change five minutes from now and this whole reading could be worth nothing because we're all free to change our minds at any time right you could have a totally different reading 10 minutes from now. Who knows? But if you don't, if it all stays the same, this is the ultimate outcome. So that's how it differs from your future. Okay, so past you have temperance. Yay for you. Temperance is a Sagittarius card. It's also balance. So you're in balance. Or were two weeks ago. <laughs> Hopefully you still are, right? <coughs> um present what is going on guys you have the nine of wands fire energy aries leo sagittarius it's also um like the wounded warrior so this guy's he's been in battle he's done he's feeling defeated he can't do anymore right why are you feeling defeated guys let's figure this out <clears throat> your future 
Um, lots of Major Arcana dies, and I can't get through a reading today, I swear, without the tower or death. Um, you have death in reverse in your future. It's Scorpio card, but it's reversed. Um, so it's you resisting transformation and the transformation, the death transformation is always major. It's not, it's not, you know, some slight little change in your life. It's major transformation, major change in whatever area this pertains to or all. Um, it's death of the old and rebirth to the new. For some reason you're not wanting it though. We'll figure it out. Um, and your eventual outcome, if it stays this way, probably because you're feeling defeated and don't want this transformation, you end up here in the Nine of Swords, which is one of the worst places to be. Sorry, guys. So, Swords is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is also the card of feeling completely depressed, like, you're up all night, you have sleepless nights, um, you, you have anxiety, you're hurt, you're betrayed. Um, it doesn't get much worse than this Knight of Swords feeling. Um, so that sucks, guys. Let's see what we can do to not get this to be your ultimate outcome, okay? So I clarify with the world spirit. Um, I'm going to clarify this reverse chariot up there. Why are you not moving forward or why do you feel like you're not moving forward? Or why are you moving backwards or feel like you are? Okay. So clarified by the hermit in reverse. Um, you need to take some time for yourself and you're not, all right? Go within, take some time for yourself. It's okay. And then maybe you can get this chariot moving again, okay? You have to go within to figure your shit out. Otherwise, it's not ever going to happen. Clarify the Nine of Wands in your present. Why are you feeling defeated? Shit, that was too many. Oh, no, it wasn't. We'll just take them. All right, so two fell out. Let's see what they are. Oh, jeez, guys. I swear, you and Aries and your battle here in your present, I don't know what the deal is. Um, all right, so it's clarified by the Seven of Wands, more fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is also the Stand Your Ground card. Um, it's being defensive, it's defending yourself, it's protecting something. Um, maybe you feel defeated like you haven't been able to stand your ground. Maybe you feel defeated like you haven't been able to protect something. Or stand up for yourself and this also fell out with it the reversed eight of cups so the eight of cups is walking away from a disappointing situation cups are water energy so it's emotions um, <coughs> also cancer Scorpio Pisces but you have a lot of swords and fire in this one so um, Eight of Cups is not walking away. You're not walking away from something that maybe you should be walking away from, something that's disappointing, something that isn't fulfilling. Eight of Cups upright is walking away from this disappointing situation to find your ninth cup, your wish fulfillment cup, right? Reversed, you're not walking away. Um, not sure why you're not walking away if you feel defeated and like you have to be defensive. Maybe it's just an ego thing. Maybe you're sticking around. Um, I don't know. To win the fight or something like that. 
<laughs> I'm not sure. Hey Taurus, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, had to free some space. It shut you guys off. So let's try and clarify death again. by the reverse eight of wands more fire energy aries leo sagittarius um it's lack of movement lack of action you're not taking any action so upright it's very fast moving action um has been called the arrows of love reversed it's been called the arrows of jealousy if this is not a love situation if it's something else um then you're not transforming you're not taking this action but you should be anytime death comes up it's because it has to it's not just for the hell of it um let's clarify the nine of swords for your outcome what has you feeling so shitty what does it pertain to Jeez, Taurus, let's see if we can get through this reading, okay? So your Nine of Swords here at the bottom was clarified with Temperance. Um, so you need to stay balanced so you don't end up here in this despair. And you have Temperance here in your past as well. So you were in balance and then all of this shit here in the middle happened, this conflict, um, this lack of transformation, lack of action, all of this happened and you became out of balance and stuck in this despair, right? So stay balanced, don't resist this transformation. Whatever this battle here is, if you need to walk away from it, then do so and make this change, okay? Or you're gonna end up down here in this shitty, desperate place where nobody wants to be. All right, let's pull your Mother Mary Oracle before this thing shuts off on me again. There we go. Our Lady of the Star Blossom. All right, now I'm gonna read to you, so if you don't wanna stick around for this, it's cool. Um, please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. I've only been on here for two weeks and I'm really trying to build my channel, so thanks a lot. All right, Our Lady of the Star Blossom. One of the simplest and most powerful spiritual techniques available to everyone is to ask for help each day from the guidance that loves you unconditionally. You may not have a clear sense of who your guidance is, but more likely than not, you are not so sure. That doesn't matter at all, fortunately enough. All that is important to you is that you know that you have a team of higher spiritual guidance that loves you unconditionally, and their job is to help you fulfill your divine destiny on planet Earth. Now, that may sound self indulgent but in truth when you succeed spiritually everyone on earth benefits higher spiritual guidance operates on a win-win basis whenever you ask your higher guidance for assistance with will benefit the entire human race we live in a free will universe and although there are literally legions of angels and spiritual guides awaiting our call until we ask they are not empowered to act our Lady of the Star Blossom brings healing of an old wound of separation. We may have been conditioned to believe that our personal success could only come at the cost of happiness or comfort of, of others. Perhaps we felt pressured or undermined by those that purport to love us and yet want to hold us back from our spiritual growth because they're scared of their own spiritual path, scared of change, or of becoming uncomfortable. 
Perhaps they threaten to leave us if we become too spiritual or weird, or perhaps they are far more subtle about their disapproval of our spiritual path. Perhaps they try to shame us if we do not have the house clean when they would like, or because we have asked the children to make their own lunches in the morning while we are meditating. Our Lady of the Star Blossom tells us that no matter whether others may like it at first or ever, when we grow spiritually, everyone benefits. All right, guys? That's pretty good, considering you have this transformation, right, that you're resisting. Don't. It's gross, right? It's never bad. It's going to feel shitty, mostly. I mean, that's just how it is. All right? All right, I'll see you guys in a few days with your love reading. Take care, Taurus.